Welcome pilots to my first love, the A-10C Warthog. Now just a couple years ago we did receive an update to the A-10 and it is now called the A-10C2 Tank Killer. Now with this upgrade we received a plethora of new weapons and one of those is the APKWS which is what we're going to be discussing here today on this video. So what is the APKWS? Well it is the Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System. It's essentially a Hydra unguided rocket with a laser guided kit attached to it to turn them into precision guided munitions. So inside DCS we do have two variants of the APKWS. We have the HE for high explosive or we have the armor piercing with an armor piercing warhead. Both variants are excellent choices inside of DCS world against lightly armored and unarmored targets, especially those pesky man pads. So what do we need for the APKWS to work with the A-10? Well, we need to have a targeting pod, so make sure you have a targeting pod attached, or the APKWS could be guided by buddy lasing or a JTAC in the area. So let's get this video started. Let's take off, get in the air, and let's talk about all of this into practice and do a demonstration for you. All right, here we are in the A-10, so we need to set up the APKWS first. And what we're gonna do here is change the laser code of the APKWS because remember, we need to have a targeting pod or buddy lasing for the APKWS to guide onto the target here. So I do recommend on multiplayer servers to change your laser codes. Remember, we got to change it in the targeting pod as well as the munition. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is hit laser arm, master arm, and your gun. We'll go into the Dismas page. And you can see right here it does say M282L APKWS and it's flashing 1688. So that's the laser code and we want to change that. And we have triple racks on both sides. So how do we change that? We can click inventory. Click the associated OSB. Doesn't matter 3 or 9 because they're both the same. Do 3. And then click rocket. And it does say M282L APKWS laser code 1688. So we want to change that. So let's go up here and type in one. 667 to so 1667 and we'll throw that right here so now we have 1667 as the laser code and remember we have it on both sides so you can do load if you just want to do the left side but if you want to do it from all sides we'll hit load symmetrical so now we can see m2a2l 1667 for both pylons so now we have the laser code change and the rocket now we need to change it in the targeting pod. So we come over here to the targeting pod, click air to ground, control, and right here it says L1688. So we need to change that to 1667. Click L again. So 1667, that's confirmed in the targeting pod. So that's where we're gonna be lazing with our targeting pod. Hit return. And we're now all set to go with the APKWS. Okay, with everything set up, let's go ahead and use the AP going to be us in practice. It's all set up in the targeting pod, all set up in the Dismas page. We're going to waypoint one, which is off our right wing. Targeting pod's on the right, so we're in perfect position to find some targets. Now we need to slew everything on over there so we can find the targets. So it does say steer point on the HUD, which is good, because we want everything to slew over there. So China hat forward long. There we go. And we'll make our targeting pod soy. And China at forward short to zoom in. We've got multiple targets down here. And we'll go after this guy right here first. So now we have to select our weapon. We can do that multiple different ways. We can just click on it if we want. My favorite way to do it though is to hit Dismiz, then hit profile, and then go down to your profile, activate. And you can view the profile, and it does say 1667, so pretty much just triple verified everything. And we can now fly straight in, turn off the autopilot, turning towards the target. So for key bindings, make sure you have your nose wheel steering because that activates the laser. Should we find the target real quick? We got a nice point track on there, so let's make our targeting pod soy by TMS forward long. And we'll do slew everything over there with China forward long. Again, always verify in the bottom of the hood what your soy or your speed is, rather. 
So targeting pod is our speed. Whatever our targeting pod's looking at, that's our speed. So the APK of this has a range of about five miles slant range, depending on your altitude and speed. With us being up here a little bit higher, we can get a little bit of a longer shot. So our slant range is right here. So we're at 6.9, nice. So we're gonna go ahead and start a dive towards this target. Currently about five and a half. And let's go ahead and fire one. So one away. Nose wheel steering button to activate the laser. Verify the laser's firing with the flashing L. Zoom in just a little bit here. Always make sure you don't mass the targeting pod. Waiting for the hit. Boom. Nose wheel steering. Laser's off. Sometimes they take them out in one, but it looks like we just scratched the paint on this one. So we'll go back in for a re-attack. Sometimes these guys take two or three shots. And what you can do, since we're in point track mode, it is still after him. I'm going to start at lazing. So we're lazing now. We're within five miles slant range. Remember, slant range is right there on the bottom right. There's the target right here. I'm going to send two after him, so one, two. We have a bunch of these eight you can be us rockets. So we've got two going after this guy now. Kablamo. Remember, these are the uh, penetrators. Lasers uh, cease firing, terminated, and he's on fire. So that's how we use the... APKWS, they're extremely easy to use, and I love using these. These are my favorite weapons to use, especially in the A-10 and the Harrier. So coming back around for another re-attack. Found another bad guy here. Go ahead and start lazing. We're within three and a half miles slant range. We'll send two away this time. Always be mindful of your targeting pod not to mask it. Remember the target pod's on the right side for me this time. If it was on the left, it would probably be masked at this moment. And laser's off. And we have a good shack there. Good shack, good shack. So as you can see, the AP could be us is extremely easy to use. And it is a monster at taking out multiple targets. And if we go to Dismiz, you can see right now we still have plenty of APKWS rockets remaining. And of course, it wouldn't be a proper A-10 video without some BERT. <laughs>